Hello and welcome back. Today we will be using a Microscribe 3D digitizer inside of Rhinoceros, which is an organic CAD modeling software. Um, so this is going to be a brief overview as to how to run the Microscribe inside of Rhino and using some various tools and techniques to recreate CAD models. The first thing we'll start off by doing is connecting the digitizer itself. So we can find this 3D digitizer toolbar inside of tools, toolbar layout, and then it's the 3D digitizing toolbar. So to open up that toolbar, we simply check off the box and it brings it up and we can put it wherever we want to on our screen. So the first thing to do is to connect the Microscribe. So we will left click and hit connect digitizer. So now it will ask us to select what digitizer we have from a drop down menu. All right, so now that we have connected the digitizer, you can see uh, up in the command bar, it says enter origin with digitizer. So we will go ahead and grab our Microscribe and I'm going to locate our 0, 0, which in this case will be down on the plate off in the left hand corner. Then we're going to give it our x axis and then give it the y axis. Alright, and now we just press enter to use the Rhino coordinate system. So now our coordinate system inside of Rhino is matched up to the system that I just laid out on this table. All right, so now we can go ahead and start taking points. So let's go ahead and gather this uh, face information. So as you can see, we have a plastic lens here that will go ahead and recreate this surface. So first, we're going to create a spline, which is also called inside of Rhino interpolate points. So we will go ahead and simply start working our way around this lens and if I zoom out a little bit we will better see it's all taking place now we can connect that piece together. So now that we have this spline information, what we will do is go ahead and gather some points on the top of this surface to gather the shape and curve of the surface. So we'll do that by selecting the points button and simply dropping points on top of this surface. All right. So now that we've done this, we can go ahead and create our surface. So we'll press enter and use those default settings. And now if we Go ahead and open up the perspective view. You can see how we were easily able to create this surface of the lens. All right, so let's say that you are looking for more CAD information. So you want this outside profile and you want to create a solid model and extrude that. What we can do is come into any uh, feature that is inside of Rhino. Let's say we want to create curves, then an arc, and we'll give it start and point. Okay, so now we'll come over to the side of this part, give it the start, give it the end, and give it a point in the middle. 
And if I zoom out, you can see that we created this outside profile. And now I want to do the same on the inside. So we can go ahead and press the back button to restart this command. Press start, the end, and again, the top portion of the arc. All right. Now we can take these two curves and then we will project them down to the C plane and simply use a line command. Alright, so now we have this basic CAD shape, but we need to extrude it up to the top surface uh, where this part actually comes up to. So what we'll do to create that is go into solid and then we will extrude a plate or curve straight. So we will go ahead and select all these features and then we use the microscribe as a height tool to govern where the top of the surface is. So once we found the top of the surface, we simply press the trigger button and it creates a surface. So now you can see that we have really begun to take the shape of this CAD piece. So we can continue to use different tools uh, to extrude cuts or extrude bosses and all the different components that create this full speedometer. So if you have any further questions about how we use the Microscribe Digitizer inside of Rhino or Rhinoceros, please feel free to contact us at www.gomeasure3d.com or by phone at 434-946-9125. Thank you and have a great day.